Hey, it's me, Dunsel the Tree, and welcome back to another JDA tutorial. And in this tutorial, uh, we're gonna make what you see right here on your screen, which is a user info embed, and those can actually get pretty complex. But first, I'm gonna go to the JDA Discord Guild, and we're gonna update some stuff. So what I'm gonna type is Gradle, uh, Gradle Utils. Ready? This is in the JDA server, by the way. And what we get over here is first we need to update our JDA version. Oh, we're on 3.8.1 right now. And we're also gonna get JDA utilities. And we're not just gonna get JDA utilities, we're gonna get JDA utilities commons, which is a smaller package than the entire JDA Utilities one and it just only has what we need. So now that we have updated JDA with the latest patches and features from Discord and we have the JDA Utilities library included, we can right click in our command package and hit new Java class and here we are, we're gonna type the class name which is U user info command and of course, as always, this yeah, let's add this to GitHub. User info command will implement i command. My IDE is very laggy today for some reason, and let's import the methods. What's going on? Why are you lagging? For our invoke, we're gonna type user info. And for our help, we're gonna type this place information about a a user user, and let's go to a new line and we type usage. Come on, stop. Constant.prefix and there we're gonna add get invoke and then we're gonna concatenate a string onto it and we're gonna type username slash add user slash user id so real quick so real quick what this means is that when we uh, run the command normally, we only we get our information. When we do a username or username and then the pound sign and discriminator we get for that user, we can either add a user or we can take a user ID. So all of these are gonna work. So first off in our handle method, we need to check if our arguments are empty. If not, we're gonna send a message. And yes, I just pasted that in because I'm a cheater. Next up, we're gonna string joined and we're gonna just join our arcs again so string dot join uh, arcs there we go <laughs> and then we're gonna get a list of users users we're gonna call this found users. And this is equal to finder util. And finder util is if we hover over this, you see com.jackrush.jdautilities.commons.utils. That's where it's from. And then we're gonna type find users. We're gonna say joint. And for JDA, we need to pass an event of get JDA. So right now this can only find users by their real name and not by their nickname because nicknames are from guilds and not from JDA. So what we could do then is if found users dot is empty and then we're gonna create a list of member which are member found 
members. <laughs> is equal to finder util dot find members. We're gonna get our jointed query and we and we do event dot get gold. Next up, if our found members are also empty, found members. Uh, if, if the found members are also empty, we're just going to say no users found for joint and we're going to return. But if we found some members, we say found users is equal to found members. And notice that this isn't possible because these are users and these are members. What we can do then is we can stream. We're going to map. And right here we have a member. And we can just say member dot get user, and we're gonna say collect dot to list. And as you can see, we can replace this lambda with a method reference. And if you don't know what method reference are, you should totally look them up because they are super cool. But basically, what this is, we type the class name colon colon and then the method name. And this is a method reference. And right now, all our members will be converted to users. So next up, um, we're gonna get the user and the member from the guild. There you go. So we're gonna get the first user and because we have the user, we can also get the member. And now we're going to create an embed. So you type message embed, embed is equal to embed utils dot default embed and we're gonna build it already uh, next up we're gonna set the color on the embed which is member dot get color next up we're gonna set a thumbnail and with that will be you user dot get effective avatar URL and we use get effective avatar URL to make sure that we that we don't have null randomly because if we have null things will crash. Well, here's an example: if a user doesn't have an avatar set, a custom one, uh, like I have and Connor has, and a lot of people have, um, like if they if they don't have a custom one set, they have the default one. For example, this user over here has the default avatar. If we don't use get effective avatar URL, we don't get this avatar URL from the default one. But we get the, uh, we get just null return because the user doesn't have an avatar set. So that's why we use get effect of avatar URL. Um, next up, we're gonna add a field, and we're gonna say username hashtag discriminator, and for the value we're gonna say string dot format. Remember our user format, percentage, hashtag s, user, and inline will be false. We're gonna add a field for our display name. Name, I'm just gonna type member.get effective name. And we're gonna also not make it inline. So again, the effective name is the same as effective after URL. The nickname would return null if the user has it, doesn't have a nickname set. And uh, otherwise, we'll just return the nickname, just like effective after URL returns the user's after URL. Next up, we're gonna add another field, uh, which is user ID plus men. And we're just gonna format the string for this as well because it's easy. String format, and what we want is first I want the ID, and then in brackets I want um, dimension. So we do this user dot get ID and we do uh, 
member that get as mentioned and of course it's not in line there we go next up we're gonna get at another field called account created and this holds the value user get creation time dot format we're gonna day time formatter and the thing is the rfc one one two three date time and it's not in line why is my ide lagging stop lagging next up we're gonna add the field which is gold joint this is member dot get join date and we're just gonna steal this little format over here and paste it after this and we're just gonna type inline false next up we're gonna get at the online status as a field so online status and this one i'm just gonna copy from my other screen which is essentially member.getOnlineStatus.name.2 lowercase and then we're replacing every underscore with a space should that that should be and next up we're gonna add the field bot account and here we're gonna say user dot is bot yes and if he isn't a bot no and that's how we create our embed and next and after that we're gonna send our embed to the channel and last but not least we're gonna add a command new user info command and according to my cheat sheet that should be everything for this episode so let's run the bot and see if it works so right now, if we type J exclamation mark user info and we mention a user, before, for example, transport, you can see it nicely displays the user info. It says uh, his name over here, it's strandbot, bot account, yes, yeah, status of line, joined, and when the account was created, it's almost a year after. Next up, we're gonna get the user by its ID. So let's get myself by my ID. Let's just copy my ID to J exclamation mark user info, paste my ID in there, and as you can see, gives my ID. What you also might be able to see is that my GIF avatar here is very gray in compared to what's in my um, what's in my message, and that's actually an easy fix. Because for some reason embeds don't like GIF avatars. And if you're ever working with images, do this what I'm currently gonna do right now. If you have the avatar URL, replace GIF with PNG. And that's that that's literally how Discord works. Uh, currently, if you look at my thing, it's also displaying a PNG instead of a GIF. It's not a GIF that magically stops playing, it's it's just a PNG image. So if we copy this again and paste it in right now, you can see that the avatar got has all its color back and it looks way nicer. So um, I just changed my bot's nickname to I as Nick. And uh, if we type user info um, JDA. As you can see, it, it finds my bot. But if we type user info I as Nick, because we did the member check, it will also find it. And last but not least, let's get. I need Connor's discriminator. Damn it. Luckily, I know my own discriminator. Actually, did I do Connor? No, I didn't. Okay. 
let's get someone with a discriminator. So let's get myself. If I type the exclamation mark user info with my name and discriminator, it will also show up. And that's it for this tutorial. If you liked it, leave a like. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And maybe I see you next time on Menu Docs or my own channel because this video is going up on both channels. And enjoy the rest of your day. Bye!